Brussels and ruin the festive plans of thousands of families just to help their masters in the Labour Party. So for our great British debate this hour, I'm asking, has the civil service become drunk on power? I'm joined now in the studio by former Labour Minister for Europe, Dennis McShane. Dennis, I want to ask you, are you surprised hearing a comment of that nature? Oh, from those two, not at all. They're very well known as fairly left-wing loudmouths. Uh, they don't have any influence in the Labour Party. Mm. Uh, they represent an extraordinary mixture of different people working as middle rank and lower mm. ranks uh, grades in the civil servants. For example, the driver's agency. Remember, there's a big strike there a year or two. Yes, There's I do remember that, yes. That, that's a PCS, so they're not focused anywhere. They, they, they service ministers. It's ministers who take decisions. And as we're now learning, we have ministers like Dominic Raab and Suella Braverman and Priti Patel, who are incredibly rude and offensive to civil servants, which doesn't... Well, happen. I mean, but no, that, but you say that. Where did you hear that? <coughs> I know she was brought up. Well, but you, but you don't know that for sure. Well, though, sorry, we, we've got on, on record quotes from people who have been offered the chance to stop working for Dominic Raab because he's just so offensive. And now, that's, that, that's his business. But generally, professionally, if you're a minister, I had no problems. Tony Blair had no problems. Margaret Thatcher was unbelievably mm. polite to all civil servants, and she got things done as a result. But to go back to the PCS, mm. yeah. uh, look, I mean, <coughs> this me. loudmouth stuff about kicking out the... Uh, Conservative government, it does Labour no good at all. Uh, their cause, I mean, every public sector mm. work. Look at all the poor nurses, just voted. Royal College of Nursing mm. never voted to go on strike, but the Tories are so grinding down the healthcare sector uh, that even these lovely people who look after us all the time feel impelled. Well, it, I, I hear you say the Tories, but that's a historic thing. I think all, literally, most of the government's power have started to cut back on the NHS. That's a, an organisational no. structure that's been bloated and bloated over the last... It's terribly sorry. It's not true. I mean, Tony Blair improved massively. I've got a little finger operation here. It was done on this hand about 12 years ago. It's called Dupatrins. This is not painful. It's, I don't mean to be cruel, Dennis, but... Spare <laughs> 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 me the detail. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. I'm going to get it was, Claire. It was done instantly 10, 12 years ago when Tony Blair was... Was there a pandemic before I there was? Met was there? The, there was no pandemic. I met the surgeon on Friday. He said, well, it could take a long time. We'll have to refer up. And he's very kind, but lovely people. But we need medical care now. But we're talking about civil service. Anyway.